Exodus 40. We know that Israel were led by the pillar of fire at night and the pillar of cloud in the daytime. And the note is just made here that whenever the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle, they went forward on their journeys. And then they stayed where they were while the cloud was there, and then it was taken up and they went on. And the same with the pillar of fire, they could maybe be asked to travel at night. And then they stopped. They went until the cloud settled down. So they never knew how long they were going to stay anywhere. Sometimes, when you look at their itinerary, they stayed for a very long time, for many months, up to a year, in one place. Other times it was every day they were moving on, even in the middle of the night, move on. They did not know their itinerary ahead of time. Now, this is us. We were baptised as they went through the Red Sea. We were baptised into the Lord Jesus in the cloud and in the sea, as it were. And now we are walking through the wilderness on our way to God's kingdom, and we are led. But there is this constant uncertainty if you want to look at the cup half empty, but looking at it, the cup half full, this is the dynamic life. Because the Spirit of God, just as the angel was like the Holy Spirit manifest to them, the Spirit of God is moving you on all the time. Life is a journey towards a destination. Sometimes you stay in one place for ages. Other times it's like you're moving day and night and you've got no idea how long I shall stay here. And so then religion per se is static. It is all about upholding the traditions that were passed on to us and keeping on attending in a particular way in a particular place. Whereas the movement of the spirit is by its nature dynamic. There is growth, there is movement forward. There is, in that sense, instability, because you don't know God's next step. He's smarter than you. You don't know. It is for us to accept that I'm on this journey, and Lord, I love you, and I'll go, day or night, where you tell me to.